Interconnectedness works on many levels, and sometimes relationships with family, friends, and groups can result in conflict and a sense of divided loyalties. This forms the underlying theme of an exciting new locally produced movie directed by Yuvalis Timothy. Titled Deep End, it is set in the Durban surface scene, and my co-host Karishma takes a starring role. The feature had its international premiere at the recent Durban International Film Festival, where we met up with the key members of the cast and the production team. What if your dreams are... Durban welcomes the world, but if you're a young woman with an independent mind and a spirit of adventure, fitting in isn't easy, no matter where in the world you may be. You'll be lucky to find someone who understands you and you'll always be battling patriarchy and prejudice. Indian girls don't surf. It's all that coconut oil in their hair. They'll slip right off the board and drown. Nina! <laughs> I've done everything you've asked of me, Dad. All for you. What about me? You're a disgrace. No. The deep end hit the screen for the first time in Devon and Karusha was on the red carpet. I'm at the premiere of Deep End, which has been nominated for the Durban International Film Festival and tells the story of a young girl who's coming into her own. And I'm so excited to see how well it does. The movie stars Karishma Baste and Greg Crick. I play Sunita Patel, who is a young Indian woman just trying to find herself really in this world. She is feisty, she's a go-getter. She spent most of her life, I think, trying to be the good Indian girl. And now she's in a space where she's trying to figure out where she fits into this world. Sunita is very strong-willed and independent. You really think you're going to get away with this crazy plan of yours? When it comes to the challenges, it's definitely all the physical aspects of shooting the movie. As the lead character, I'm in the water a lot. Every day on set, learning to work in that environment with the camera in the water, you're trying to focus on the surfing, but then also wanting to give a very realistic performance. But it was one of the greatest challenges that I've ever had to face as an actress. With a tight 29-day shooting schedule, the cast and crew couldn't count on constant good weather. And they also had to factor in the tide and surfing conditions for action sequences in the water. Despite the challenges, the filmmakers were able to complete the feature in time for it to be selected for the festival. And producer Jacinta de Nobrega could relax at last. Jacinta, welcome to Mela. Thank you so much. Congratulations on Deep End. Thank you. It's, yeah, it feels like a big one. <laughs> and what are some of the themes that you've explored in Deep End? It's a very much coming of age story. It's a real female driven narrative. It's about a woman just on a self discovery. And the way she finds herself is in the waves. Being from a very conservative family, surfing is not acceptable and she is supposed to be getting married. And so the conflict is a lot with her father and her and also her coming into her own and not being dictated by society who says you have to be a certain person. And Durban seems to have a lot of talent coming out of it at the moment. I think it's always been there, there's just not been enough opportunities. People are recognizing Durban. There's been a real focus with filmmakers coming from outside Durban making movies here. But I'm excited as a producer. I really want to see this industry grow. And what are you most looking forward to now that Deep End is a wrap and about to be revealed to the public? I think people are excited about seeing themselves on the big screen and to see the city of Durban portrayed in such a beautiful Away. They're gonna get him killed. How could you? Sydney, wait! Deep End was written and directed by multi award winner Hubilis Timothy. Hubilis, welcome to Mela and congratulations on Deep End. Oh, thank you very much. Tell me, what are some of the themes that you've explored in Deep End? The main theme in this movie is to discuss the relationship between a father and a daughter when the daughter gets to an age where he feels that he might lose her. And then the other theme that I explore is how does a young girl pursue something that's maybe not acceptable to everybody around her and still not lose her identity. And how important was it for you to explore these themes? I come from a family of strong women. It was important that I show how women in today's world excel and what they do and what they say. Kozula Natal has a very vibrant entertainment industry and the KZN Film Commission provides funding to assist promising ventures. This is one of the very 
amazing project that we have and we're truly proud of because it's 100% KZN. For me, it's very special because I was born in Durban, I was raised in Durban. Coming from a Gujarati background where it is quite stereotyped and you know you need to be a good Gujarati girl, it was very nice to play this role of the mom who supports a child who wants to be different. Because I grew up like that, I was different. It can actually set us apart and show that there's, there's ability here that can travel globally. We have so much talent in Durban, in KZN, and I feel like sometimes we never get to see all of that. So tonight to be able to showcase our talents, our stories, our beaches, it's really making me so incredibly proud. Watching snippets of footage on a monitor is never the same as seeing the completed movie on the big screen. And there was a real sense of anticipation. The buzz of the red carpet is still in my ears and I think almost everyone's headed into the cinema. I'm so excited to see this movie. Being from Durban myself and knowing that this movie was locally produced and almost everyone in this movie is from KZN, I'm so excited to see the talent and I'm sure what is going to be a lot of magic. Don't you ever do that again. I feel free when I saw it. Free? What, are you a prisoner again? She's worried about you. I know I screwed up. There are no regrets in life, Sunita. Only choices. You make your choices and you live with them.